If this is the first time you've heard about antibodies, you may not know how important they are. Antibodies are one of the warriors inside our body helping us fight off nasty invading particles. They are a type of protein and a key component of our immune system. If a person doesn't produce or overproduces antibodies in the body, the person will become very ill. So where do antibodies come from? Antibodies circulate in the bloodstream and can appear anywhere throughout the body. Their function is to recognize bad agents called antigens and then trigger further chemical reactions in the body to remove the antigens. Antigens are foreign substances that are capable of triggering an immune response. They can be viruses, fungi, bacteria and some non-living substances such as toxins, chemicals and foreign particles. They can even be allergens like dust, pollen or certain foods that cause allergic reactions. Antibodies are produced in the immune system in response to the presence of an antigen. So what do antibodies look like? Antibodies are also known as immunoglobulin. They are generally a Y-shaped protein consisting of four polypeptides, two identical light chains and two identical heavy chains. The terms light and heavy simply mean larger and smaller. The four polypeptide chains are connected by disulfide bridges. Here, at the tip of each arm, are the antigen binding sites. These are really important parts for attacking invading antigens. Similar to the lock and key mechanism in enzymes, the shape of the antigen binding site is specific to the antigen it's targeting. If part of the antigen fits into the antigen binding site, the antibody recognizes the foreign antigen and binds it in. This stops the antigen from causing more damage elsewhere. Two identical binding sites means any given antibody can bind simultaneously to two identical antigens. Millions of antibodies with slightly different tip structures exist, with each variant binding to a different antigen. This enormous diversity of antibodies allows the immune system to recognize an equally diverse range of antigens. By binding in an antigen, an antibody can stop the antigen from entering or damaging cells. This is known as neutralizing. The antibody can also tag the antigen for attack by other parts of the immune system. In mammals, there are five immunoglobulin isotopes. They perform direct dye roles and help direct the appropriate immune response for each different type of foreign invader. Antibodies are cloned in laboratories. To discover how and why, watch this video. So there we have the ninja Y-shaped antibodies protecting us from foreign invading antigens. Antibodies are nearly identical except for slightly different shaped antigen binding sites. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.